welcome to the Alaska Fly Fishing Goods online fly tying tutorial. Today we're tying the Deep Six. Killer coho fly, especially good for fussy cohos that aren't grabbing big flies. This comes in a bunch of different colors. You could tie it in pink and white, pink and purple, but today we're going to do the chartreuse and white. I got my hook in the vise. I've got a thread base going from just in front of the hook point up to the hook eye. And now we're ready to put on the eyes. So we're going to use the Alaska Fly Tire's best friend for putting on eyes. A drop of Zappa Gap right there. You're going to figure eight some wraps. Nice firm wraps to secure those eyes. And each wrap soaks up a little bit of that Zappa Gap. After figure eighting, I'm going to make a few wraps below the eyes, but above the hook shank, which sucks those wraps in even more. And I'm going to leave my thread right behind the eyes. Next, we're going to put in a flashaboo body, and the body is Chartreuse Mirage flashaboo, which I'm going to attach directly behind the eyes. Trim the ends. And I'm going to simultaneously wrap those four strands, the Mirage Flashaboo back. We're going to wrap back to just a little behind the hook point. And then we'll wrap back over the top, back up to the eyes. And tie it off. Trim those ends nice and close. And our next step is to attach the marabou. I've got two marabou feathers. They are going to attach on the bottom of the hook, and my thread is right in front of my eyes now. I want to attach them to the bottom of the hook, and I want them to protrude past the bend of the hook somewhere between half and three quarters of an inch. I'm going to make a nice soft loop right in front of the eyes. Get those feathers positioned so they're directly on the bottom of the hook. And make three or four nice firm wraps. I'm going to trim these off. Try and trim them as close as you can to the eyes so that the ends, once you trim them, don't protrude into the hook eye. You get those ends into the hook eye, it's real hard to get them back out again. We're ready for our second color. This time I'm going to use a single marabou feather and it's white. It's going to be the same length as our chartreuse feather. So we will measure that. Nice soft loop right in front of the eyes again. And then three or four firm wraps to lock it in. Trim that nice and close. Now we're going to make a few thread wraps to just smooth this out a little bit and cover up some of those marabou tips. And now we're going to add a little bit of flash. We're going to take a single strand of that same chartreuse mirage flashaboo and I'm going to wrap it around the thread so it's divided evenly. And make a wrap so it's right on the side of the hook and this time case it's right on the side of the hook closest to me. And our second piece will once again wrap it around the thread so it's divided in half. And this piece will lay on the side of the hook farthest from me. And since we divided these in half we effectively have got two pieces of flash going down each side of the fly. I'm going to finish up, make a nice thread head, cover up any little loose tips that are in there. We are ready to whip finish. And our final step after we remove the fly from the vise is I want to take those pieces of flash that run down the side of the fly and trim them so they're the same length as the marabou. And there you have the deep six. Terrific coho fly. This fly in several colors should be in your silver salmon fly box.